Listen, it's quite simple. Press the free like button if you think that Walking Tall was a trash film. Press the free like button if you think that Doom was a trash film. Press the free like button if you think that Black Adam was a trash garbage film. Facts on facts. So I saw the clip online of Rocky Maivia talking trash about the Cody Rose fans on Twitter, calling them crybabies. So I'm like, listen, by saying that you are not doing your match with Roman any favors, based on based on what you said, people are going to hijack that match. Bruh, there's a small tiny percentage of the wrestling fan base that wants to see this match with you versus Roman. It's like, it's a small percentage, man. It's not that many. Listen, fuck a hashtag. Hashtags are not the majority of the audience, you fucking nerds, you fucking dorks. Um, who gives a fuck about hashtag we want Rocky Mavia? Bruh, look at the numbers for that hashtag. It's not that many. But, based on his comments about the fan base of Cody Rhodes, listen, if I'm Cody Rhodes, he should feel offended about what Rocky Maivia said about his fan base. I'm like, bro, Cody Rhodes was nice enough to hand you his spot. He didn't have to, but you kind of forced him to, and here you are talking shit about his fan base. Now, if somebody was to talk shit about my fan base, I felt like you are talking shit about me. So if I'm Cody Rhodes, he should feel offended. I feel like Rocky Maivia kind of took a shot at Cody Rhodes by saying, oh, Cody Rhodes, he got to fit the story. Just how he said it was very disingenuous. I'm like, bro, you just buried Cody Rhodes because he was the one that made up that line of I got to finish story. So you buried his gimmick. So listen, if I'm Cody Rhodes, I'm like, bro, you ungrateful, bald headed fuck. I just gave you my spot at WrestleMania, and here you are burying my fan base. Even though, in hindsight, you brought it on yourself, you bald-headed shit actor. Listen, don't mix up Dwayne Johnson and Rocky Maivia. Yes, I'm a huge fan of Rocky Maivia as a fake pro wrestler, but him as an actor, he fucking sucks. Like, listen, you don't know me. Nobody does. So don't say, oh, he has turned on Rocky Maivia. Um, no, I have not. This is common sense. He just took a spot of a full-time fake pro wrestler. Yes, I'm very pissed off about that shit. What if somebody at your job, what if your boss gave a promotion to a part-time worker when you are full-time? 40 hours a week. That's what I mean, you lazy fucks. You fucking beta males. See, a fucking beta male would not have an issue with a part-timer taking his spot at his job that's all i'm saying but i feel like man him as an actor listen how long has rocky been acting maybe 20 some years now fun fact i've only watched three movies of rocky maya via so by that same logic i have not turned on him i've never been a fan of his films he fucking sucks he's garbage hell huck hogan is a better actor fucking sting Fucking Steve Borden is a better actor. Let that sink in for a tiny bit second. Hell, the fucking Miz is a better actor. I've only seen fucking Doom. I've seen Walking Tall. And I've seen Black Adam. All trash films. Garbage. He can act. Listen, The Rock became a star in Hollywood based on his huge wrestling fan base. That's all. It's fucking nepotism. That's it. Not for his skills. He is an overrated action film star, and he knows that. How can you flop Black Adam? That's crazy to me. How can you fuck up Black Adam? I'm like, listen, I know Black Adam, the comic book character. He acted nothing like him. Nothing like him. I'm like, bro, do you know who Black Adam is? It's like, how can you botch Black Adam? That's wild. But let's get back to... Well, Rocky Maivia said about the fan base of Cody fucking Rhodes. Listen, you just turned your match into a triple threat match. Because now, shit, I want to see Cody versus Rocky Maivia now. Based on those those comments, bruh, I want to see Cody Rhodes whoop Rocky Maivia's ass now. Bruh, nobody wants to see 
Rock and Roman based on those comments. Why hell shit? I feel like Rock has more heat with Cody fucking Rhodes over his cousin. Shit. Listen, Rock and Roman, they have no heat. But Rocky Maivia has more heat with Cody Rhodes now based on the Pat McAfee show. I'm like, I want to see that match. But to all the dumbasses that are that are trying to book this in terms of I had this I had this one dumbass tell me maybe Priest should face Cody Rhodes for the briefcase. I'm like, why? Why the fuck would Cody Rhodes challenge Damian Priest for the briefcase when he is the World Rumble winner? He won the fucking Rumble. Make that make sense. Bruh, he gave up his spot voluntarily. Because I guess he don't want to face Roman at WrestleMania. Hopefully that would change. But by that logic, why the fuck would he challenge Priest for a match that he already won? He's over the shot at Roman Reigns, bro. Like, what the fuck does Cody need a fucking briefcase? He already won the fucking Rumble, you fucking idiots. He won the World Rumble. He doesn't need a fucking briefcase. The Rock messed this whole thing up because Rocky is a selfish fucking prick. Ask Vin Diesel, ask Tyrese, ask the Fast and the Furious directors. That's what I'm saying. Like, listen, as a fake pro wrestler, I am a fan of Rocky Maivia. But it's like his ego is fucking huge in, in terms of I never understood why he called himself the people's champion. I'm like, bro, you ain't the people's champion, man. Stop saying that. Bro, you got into this business based on fucking nepotism. So how the fuck are you the people's champion? I never understood that since 1998. <laughs> I never understood it. I'm like, bro, Diamond Dallas Page is the real people's champion. Like, I never I never understood why Rocky used to call himself the fucking people's champion. I'm like, bro, you ain't the people's champion, bro. It's Diamond Dallas Page. Because all the odds were stacked up against Diamond Dallas Page to make it in this business. Bro, you are the son of a legend. The first black tag team champion. So, how are you the people's champion when you are a fucking second generation wrestler who had everything handed to him? It's, it fucking still do. So how the fuck are you the people champion? Like, I don't get that. Like, like I said, Diamond Dallas Page was always my people champion, not Rocky Mavia. Get the fuck out of here, man. The same rock that they were saying, die, Rocky die, Rocky sucks, that rock, he was the people champion? No, man. Like, I never understood that nickname. Bruh, you stole that nickname from Diamond Dallas Page. That's all I'm saying. But that comment on the Pat McAfee show, I'm like, bro, you just buried your match with Roman fucking Reigns. It's like, bro, you got more heat with Cody fucking Rose now. So there's not going to be much of a choice. This has to be a triple threat match now. Or hell, I want to see Rock versus Cody Rose on night one now. That's what The Rock did. You just buried your match with your fucking cousin, you dumbass idiot. Now, I I get it why Rocky said those comments, but bruh, you brought it on yourself, you fucking idiot. You came off off your damn couch. You saw Cody win the fucking World Rumble. You saw that said, fuck it. I'm still going to main event WrestleMania. I'm like, wow. So, no, man, I don't feel sorry for you. Everything, all these fans, I said a line, bro. I don't feel sorry for you. You brought it on yourself. You just fucking took a spot of a full time wrestler. So, no, nah, man. I don't feel sorry for you, but I get it. All right, yes, I do get why he said all oh, the Cody Rose crybaby. Okay, I, I get it. But you brought it on yourself, bro. People loved you last week. Now they hate you. Okay, whose fault is that? That's your fault for being a lazy, selfish fucking prick. That don't care about pushing the next generation of fake pro wrestlers. Like I said, man, this match could have waited until next year. That's all I'm saying. Listen, niggas ain't dying to see this, this fucking match, bruh. That's facts. Next year, yes. This year, no. This is the year of Cody fucking Rhodes. So it just feels like he's trying to be Dave Batista. Because that fucking audience, they turned Dave Batista heel. Remember? So, 
listen, I don't mind seeing Hollywood rock. I don't mind it. But just, bro, keep it real. This has to be a triple threat match. Now, based on his dumbass comments about the fan base of Cody fucking Rhodes. Like I said, Rock and Roman, that's going to be a, a fucking awful match. Listen, this is 2024. This ain't fucking 2012, man. The Rock can't wrestle. He sucks now. I'm going to keep on saying it. He's not good in a fucking ring. I don't give a fuck about his name. His name value is not going to make the match any better. That's not how that works in the real world. This dude hasn't wrestled in, what, maybe 10 years, bro? A long fucking time. And I agree with Seth Ficky Rollins. He said that we don't need Rocky Mavia at this year's WrestleMania. But he said that it would be cool if he was there, but we don't need him. It was sold out. It was sold out before he showed up. You fucking idiots. It was sold out. So we don't need him. And I love what he said. Seth Rollins said that Rocky is trying to hop on a bandwagon now, right? Because this dude has a dead Hollywood career. So now he wants to come back to fake pro wrestling. He wants to jump on a bandwagon because this is as hot as the World Wrestling Federation has ever been. Max, since the Attitude Era, it's hot because of Cody Fucking Rose, you dumb bitch. So Rocky, he is, he is trying to jump on the bandwagon. He is trying to jump on the gravy train. But hold on, bitch, you selfish prick. Where was you at when your company needed you to be there? Right? Like five years ago, four years ago, this brand was shit, remember? Back in what, 2018, 2020, we need you to come back. But this dude was selfish. It was all about his shit movies. Oh, now he wanted to come back because Black Adam was a fucking flop. Oh, now your ass trying to crawl back to fake pro wrestling so you can be relevant. He's using us. Don't you get it? He's using the World Wrestling Federation to bring back his, his fucking name value. Because fucking Black Adam trashed his reputation as a fake actor. That's all I'm saying. But I'm like, bruh, where was you at these, these past five, four years when the crowd was begging for you to come back? Now that you got a flop ass career in acting, oh, now you want to come back, huh? No, nah, man, fuck Rocky Maivia. So I seen the press conference with Rocky Maivia and Mr. Cody Rose and Roman Lames because Roman is a fucking lame. So listen, I think Rocky Maivia turned heel, man. Um, he knew where this was going. There was no way people was going to cheer him. So listen, there is no way to hell people are going to co-sign this match with him and Roman fucking Reigns based on, bro, y'all don't have any heat. I'm keep on saying it. Dude, this press conference fucking proves it. These two guys got no heat. This is a forced dream match by you fanboys. That's all it is. It means nothing. This match should happen next year, but this was a great press conference. Um, it felt real. Um, listen, people were proven wrong. Listen, Rock, his fan base ain't that strong like you think it is. <laughs> okay, calm the fuck down. Listen, the only reason Rocky Mavia gets huge pops is because he's always a surprise if we know he's coming i guarantee this his pop will not be all that big this was proof bro the fans were giving him the what chance that's all i'm saying i've never heard the rock get the what chance this late in his career so i knew the fans was going to turn on rocky Maivia. but listen i'm not a huge fan of the rock as a person outside of fake pro wrestling and here's why next minute he's black right then next week he's fucking Samoan that's what I don't like about Rocky Maivia he's only Samoan when it fits his narrative he's only black when it fits his narrative you see last year The Rock was black but this year now he's back to being Samoan just to fit a narrative but I liked how Cody Rose came across this press conference um I knew this was I knew this was always the road that they were gonna head down. Most likely this will be a triple threat match. Towards the end of this press conference, I liked how Rocky Maivia was cursing at Triple H. That felt real as shit. But 
it feels like Rocky is in the fucking bloodline. <laughs> so I was like, bruh, how is this a great match when you two seem like you're fucking best friends? Like, there's no heat here. Like I said, two years ago, this would have been a great match. Because I felt like The Rock would have been trying to come to the aid of the Usos, but not anymore. It's fucking too late. But the point is, I was shocked when it felt like Roman and Rock was kind of side by side here. So I'm like, yeah, this is a work. Listen, I knew that Rocky Maivia would cave. I'm like, bruh, you got to cave in. Philly is going to boo your match with Roman fucking Reigns. Now they are going to boo it even more now because towards the end of this press conference, it felt like Rocky was trying to use his pull with politics towards the end. By telling Triple H, look here, man, you better fix this shit. I'm like, whoa, he was cursing at Triple H. Like I said, this dude is trying to pull his political pull. Like I told you, these fucking Samoans, they play politics when it comes to fake pro wrestling. But I'm glad that Clay Rose grew some fucking balls here. See, Rocky, this dude got a pocket. I'm like, bro, Cody, he chose you to face your cousin, but you got a pocket. Like, he was burying Cody Rose. He was trying to bury his whole entire family by, by trying to claim that the Rose family are not royalty. I'm like, whoa, man, like, does Rocky want to get booed? <laughs> I'm like, this dude, he wants to get booed now. I think he's a heel now. I think he's a heel. This sounds like Dave Batista and Randy Orton and Dave Bryan. That's how it feels. I'm like, bro, people were saying Rocky sucks. Bro, nobody gave a flying fuck about The Rock at this press conference. Nobody gave a fuck about Rocky Maivia. He was getting what chance? He was getting fucking Rocky sucks chance. Bro, nobody wants to see Rocky at this year's WrestleMania. Don't fool your fucking self. Now, that was very, very interesting. It was like a two-on-two, -two, right? Um, Rock, he slapped Mr. Clay Rhodes. Then Seth Freaky Rollins jumped in. I was like, hmm, where is this going? Because I'm like, hold on. This is a fucking two-on-two. -two. Because, dude, man, the moment Rocky came off stage, him and Rollins had heat. The moment Rocky came off stage, him and Seth Rollins had heat. Because I think last week or this week, like I said, Seth Rollins said that we don't need Rocky at this year's WrestleMania. Now, based on this press conference, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of seeing Seth and Cody Rhodes versus Rock and Roman on night one. That's a strong possibility. Because, man, it don't seem like Rocky hates Roman. So, I'm like, like I said, man, they have no heat. Like I said, dog, Rock has more heat with Cody Rhodes here. But, I think... The number one conclusion will be Rock, Roman, and Cody Rose on night two. Because, bruh, nobody in their mama wants to see Rocky and Roman one-on-one. -on -one. Because, like I said, Rocky does not want that championship. He wants to be the head of the table. But Rocky, bruh, he did a shit job of trying to convince us. I'm like, bro, why are you shaking Roman's hand? I'm like, what? Like, bro, why the fuck are you shaking Roman's hand here? I'm like, you guys are not supposed to be on the same page here. So, I think Rocky has caved in. I think there's only one option. A triple threat match. Oh yeah, by the way, a couple of weeks ago, I said last month that this was going to be a triple threat match. The moment that General Hall attacked Rocky Maivia, I said this is going to be a triple threat match. Of course, Mark thought I was crazy. Yeah, look at me now, bitch. Like I said, nobody knows more about fake pro wrestling than me. And listen, if you notice, my last couple of videos, I've always paired The Rock with his cousin Roman Reigns on the same team in my gameplay. You know why? Because I saw the future. Listen, I'm done.